good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video today. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the first episode of this new series I'm trying out. You know, it may be absolute dog shit. It may be trash. It may be something that we never do again. Who knows? I'm just sort of testing this out, and we're going to see how this thing goes. You guys can see here we do have this random box. If you guys missed the episode of Action Figure Surgery from the last few days or whenever that was, maybe a couple days ago, I pretty much described this new series where I have my boxes. I have my one box full of loose figures. I'll show it now. I have this box right here that is full of loose elite figures and to the right of it sits the box you guys just saw, which would be this box right here. And beside that box sits this box, which is full of random figures that are missing parts. You see this Miz right here, Finn Balor missing kick pads, Shawn Michaels missing head, arms, and kick pads. And basically uh, yeah, that's what this box is. It's literally a big box full of things like this. You see this Undertaker missing hands, lower legs, boots, and and so on and so forth. You guys get the idea. So basically in this box, that is what we have. And so I had an idea for a series where we would take my fodder boxes, which are right here. I have this box full of lower legs and you know boots and knee pads and things of that nature. I have this box, which is full of heads and all kinds of different parts. I have this box, which is full of arms and different shades of colors and, you know, shoulders and some heads and stuff like that, elbow pads that, you know, anything arm related is typically in this box. I have this entire box dedicated to only Seth Rollins parts. And then over here I have one that is very similar to that other one with all the heads in it. Just a lot more body but Like these figures right here, like this Daniel Bryan, that Randy Orton, that Finn Balor. These could actually go in the box that we are, you know, taking out of it today. Actually, I'm going I'm to move this now. Get, just get over here. So you guys get the point. So now we'll take our Daniel Bryan and Finn Balor, add them right here. So how this series works, I'm going to call it Thinking Outside the Box. When in reality, you're not really thinking outside the box. I guess you are because, you know, some things won't be so cut and dry. Some things we will have to experiment with, take parts from certain guys to, you know, get it to work from the fodder box. So I guess it is Thinking Outside the Box. But then again, it's like, just take whatever AJ Styles parts are in your box and add it to the AJ Styles to make it fit, which isn't really Thinking Outside the Box. It's more of just doing the obvious. But anyways, we're going to shut the hell up and call it thinking outside the box anyways so thinking outside the box episode one here we go um i think i'm going to work on this finn balor i think i do have most of the parts i think i will be able to convert it i don't know if i have network spotlight parts i actually use the uh i use these kick pads for the Johnny Gargano Elite 70 fix-up, so that is why this is in here, so we'll use that. I think I can rebuild him today. Another figure I think that would be really easy is this AJ Styles Elite 56. I think that would be something that we could really do. Got sort of a warped leg right there. Not really. I don't know what I'm talking about. So there's AJ Styles. We also have a Miz, and I wanted to do one of these Miz figures, but they're both missing lower legs, so it's kind of, you know, upsetting. I think I'm going to work on the one without any lower legs, and uh, we're going to start with these three. We're going to start with Finn Balor, AJ Styles, and the Miz, and so what we're going to do is put this back where it was. We're going to move this box back to where it was, and now we're going to go digging in the fodder boxes over here and see if we can find the parts that we need to create these things and uh, make them happen here today on Thinking Outside the Box. So, okay, so for the first figure that we have, guys, it is going to be AJ Styles. So what we need for AJ Styles, it looks like to make him complete, we need an elbow pad, I guess, if we really wanted that. It's not a, you know, necessary, but um, knee pads and kick pads, it seems, is what we need. And uh, looking right here, I don't see his kick pads. So, um, what else? Okay, so here, here we have some Elite 47 kick pads. So the Elite 47 kick pads, obviously, they don't go with Elite 56 AJ Styles, but to build him up and complete him to get him back on the shelf, which is the ultimate goal of thinking outside the box, we're going to use these kick pads and see if we can rebuild AJ Styles so he will stay like this. All right, now what we need for AJ Styles is going to be knee pads. Now, for these knee pads, we have certain right here, and I have them organized. I have my bigger, like, different colored uh, knee pads that go right here. Right here, I have a bunch of duplicates, so a lot of knee pads that I have a ton of, they go in this little spot spot. These are red only because I have a shit ton of red ones for some reason. I'm going to put all my black and red or slash just fully red knee pads in here so we don't need any of these for AJ Styles. And then over here we have my smaller like colorized ones, you know, blue, white, uh, open black ones. Uh, the really good knee pads uh, usually go in here so that is something that we will need 
and uh, I guess I could just kind of search through and see what we have. Ultimately, for AJ Styles, we'd like to see open knee pads is what we'd like to see, but, um, you know, it's not a, you know, it's not ultimate. It's not what we really have to have, so I guess we could just kind of look through here, see if we find anything we like. Okay, so actually, I just looked over here, and I saw that I had some Dolph Ziggler legs that actually have some knee pads that we could use, and I'm going to use them right here. I think this will work. So let's go ahead and look at it right quick. Go ahead and zoom out. So you guys can see here, these knee pads that are on these Ziggler legs will work. They're not open knee pads, but I think they're going to get the job done here today because all my other knee pads that are in this box do not look like they will work. So what we're going to do is just go ahead and slide these knee pads off here, and then we will set them to the side. So I think we have AJ Styles completed as far as the parts are concerned. Then we're going to move on to Finn Balor and then The Miz. All right, guys, so there we go. We have the knee pads off. So now I'm going to set the knee pads and our kick pads that we got from the Elite 47 AJ Styles that we found inside of the fodder box. We're going to take all of this junk right here and we're going to sit it off to the side for our uh, put together. Next up, guys, is Finn Balor. And for Finn Balor, it should be relatively easy. I think that, uh, again, I don't think I have the network spotlight parts, but I think I do have everything else. And uh, sitting it right off the bat, I do see the uh, uh, knee pads from this figure. I think these are the network spotlight Finn Balor knee pads that are already ready to go. I believe these are the same uh, that he's supposed to be wearing, so that's good. I think these will fit in perfectly uh, because these are the Elite 41 or whatever, and I know these these don't go with these, even though that may look even better. I don't know. You know what? Screw it, Brad. Just to do something a little bit differently, just to give us a little bit of a different look, I think I am going to do this right here. So uh, let's go ahead and put those network spotlights back. We'll go back in here and we will get uh, wherever the hell those are supposed to be. Okay, right here. We're going to use these just because I think the teeth shape is just pretty wicked, I think. Uh, you see that? How it kind of matches right here with the teeth on the chest? Um, I think that'd be pretty badass. So we're going to use these knee pads. I think that'll be a cooler look. And for the kick pads for this guy, this is usually where my kick pads go. I know they're not there. So uh, we're going to go over here where I use uh, lower legs. I try to organize as best as I can. But uh, this this section right here is for lower legs connected to kick pads. So you guys can see right here, we already have some Elite 41 Finn Balor kick pads connected to lower legs. So that is what we're going to be working with right there. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, for this segment, you know, where we actually do the surgery portion or putting together part, we're going to separate these lower legs from these kick pads and then pop the kick pads pads onto this Finn Balor and again these don't go with it but I think this will give us the best look as far as that is concerned so there we go we got Finn Balor completed now we are moving on to the Miz and then we will conduct our uh, putting together portion and get everything figured out so for the Miz again we are missing uh, his lower legs I think so we are missing his lower legs and his kick pads and I actually know that this business kick pads are in my kick pad storage right here. Uh, you will see a ton of Finn Balor kick pads, like these Top Talents Finn Balors. I have so many of those kick pads, but I know they're in here somewhere. Uh, there they are. There's the Perfect Miz ones right there. So that's what we want. There's the one. And then I have the white ones too, but I don't think that would look too good on this figure. So we're just going to dig until we find... Okay, there it is. So we do have both kick pads for the Miz. Now all we need is the lower legs and we need knee pads. Damn. Why did I not think of that, Brad? Okay, so we got to find some knee pads as well as some lower legs to fit that Miz figure. And what we're going to do is go... Okay, so here we go. I have these Shelton Benjamin lower legs. We're going to get these knee pads off of of this Shelton Benjamin lower fodder from the gold standard chase variant. So that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to take this piece and we're going to remove the knee pads from this and use them for our Miz fix-up. And then uh, what are we going to do? Where's the... Uh, okay, over here is where I usually put my lower legs. And to be honest with you, this is kind of shitty. I hate doing this because it's actually really difficult to find the pieces that you need because I don't think I have any lower legs from that little lower leg portion that would fit that Miz figure. So that sucks eggs. So what we're going to do is go through here and see if we can find some lower legs. And uh, I know a lot of lower legs in this portion are not the right skin tone. I know there's a lot of Cody Rhodes lower legs in here. There's a lot of Daniel Bryan lower legs in here. But as far as the you know shorter kick pads um, are concerned for the skin tone that we need, actually, oh, snapsies McGapsies, what do we have right here, Brad? We have a Mizdow fodder, and I think this is the same skin tone as the Miz. Let me go ahead and compare it real quick. I think that's going to work. I think that's the same exact color. And if it's not, it's close enough. It's not going to upset me that much. So I think that's what I'm going to go with. I think ideally, for Finn Balor and for the Miz, I'd like to use black lower legs so it has that kick pad, you know, look longer. 
but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna you know deduct any football points right there. I'm going to use these lower legs from this Mizdow. So that's what we're gonna do. I think we have completed everything, guys. We have everything. We have all the pieces we need. Now it's gonna be a regular day of surgery. It's literally gonna be a, a regular day of action figure surgery. So I'm gonna meet you guys over in the backstage area. We're gonna work on everything and we're going to heat everything up, pop it all together, and uh, see if we can get this shit going for outside the box or thinking outside the box episode number one. All right, guys, so thinking outside the box, here we go. We have action figure surgery kind of set up right here just because it's got to have sort of a surgery feel behind it, right? We can't have it completely not surgicalized because we're about to surgery these hoes in this hoe. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. I think uh, what we need to do is the first order of business. I guess what we can do for uh, the guys with knee pads, we need to go ahead and put their knee pads on. That way they're ready to go. So I need to figure out if this is a left or right knee pad for Finn Balor, and then I'm going to place it on there. What the hell is this? All right, so this is the left one, so we're just gonna slide this onto the leg. Slide it onto the leg. Gonna go ahead and lock in the figure four leg lock. So there's his left leg. And then we're gonna go over here to the right leg. And we're going to plug onto the right knee pad. And there we go, so there's Finn Balor. I think that's gonna turn out all right once we're completed. So there's Finn Balor. Um, we have his kick pads that we're gonna have to heat up, so we're gonna set those off to the side. And then for AJ Styles, same deal right here. We gotta figure out uh, which one is the left and right. So this one is the left. Saw it on the inside of the inscription there when it's placed on. And we're going to slide this hoe right onto the slide this hoe right onto the... That wasn't a glitch. I actually just said it twice like a dumbass. All right, there goes the right knee pad. So there is that. So AJ Styles is ready to go there. Again, I wish we had, you know, the open knee pads, but I'm not going to fart in bags and smell it. I'm just going to get over it. So there we go. Then we're going to put our kick pads over here because that's going to be the heat up territory. So we got the heat up territory back there. And then last... Last but not least, we have the Miz, and we cannot put his knee pads on because we have to heat up the Shelton Benjamin. So what we're going to do is heat up all these kick pads back to back to back to back to back. And uh, while we do that, I guess I'm going to go ahead and heat up these lower legs as well, see if it'll work out. We have the trusty white hair dryer because the, the trusty white hair dryer is going to be doing double duty now, Brad, because not only do we have action figure surgery, but we have thinking outside the box now. So what we're going to do, and the whole thing is, is people are going to be like, why don't you just put these on action figure surgery? Action figure surgery is more for doing fix-ups and fixing figures that, you know, we're trying to do some cool things with the figures we already have or brand new elites, like new elite sets, trying to fix those and stuff like that. Thinking outside the box is taking figures from that specific box and uh, using the different boxes of fodder and pieces to piece together other figures. So it's not, you know, just random things. It's because they're in that box already, and that's what makes it, you know, a different take and a different thing. So we'll just see how it goes. If you hate it, you hate it. If you love it, you love it. Let me know down in the comment section below. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and heat up these kick pads, which are going to blow the hell away. You already know. It's, I mean, it's just a thing. Um, we're going to heat up these kick pads, heat up these kick pads, heat up these kick pads, and heat up these kick pads. All right, so I'm going to do my best here to line up all of these. And again, uh, just like surgery, I mean, who, who the hell knows how this is going to go? You guys know that we always run into some trouble on action figure surgery, but we're going to go right here. We're going to hit it, and we're going to see how it goes and just kind of see. And if, again, if you guys hate the name thinking outside the box, let me know a different name down in the comment section below. I'll take it into consideration. But let's just go ahead and heat this shit up. All right, guys, I let that go pretty long because I knew how much we had to heat up. So we're just going to go ahead and, oh, that's loosey-goosey right there, Brad. That's what you like to see. Oh, God in heaven, I need pliers or something. Christ on a bike. This is always tough because the lower legs, it's so short of a piece that you have to grip it and, like, rip it. So that's what we say, grip it and rip it. It's like a fart. Got it. Had to use the old teeth. But we got it. It's there. All right, guys, uh, should we go ahead and just pop AJ Styles on there so we're done with him? Um, there's his one kick pad, and there's his other kick pad. We'll take a look at AJ Styles at the end, just like uh, action figure surgery. We'll do the same thing, and then we'll add them to the respective shelves. That'll be part of the whole process is we'll, you know, we'll fix them, and then we'll put them on the shelf that they're supposed to be on. God, I'm going to have to use the teeth method again. Wish me luck. Holy hell, what is wrong with you? Good God. Fuck, I broke my tooth. Anyways, let's go ahead and put the uh, kick pads onto Finn Balor as well, if they will go. There we go, Brad. Cooking with peanut oil. Cooking with peanut oil. AJ Styles, Finn Balor done. Now for the big challenge. Time for the big one now. 
Going over to Mizdow, pop this over here, get this going. Uh, take my little bead snatcher. Don't know what the hell I'm talking about there. Take that, go ahead and plug that bead snatch over there. This shit didn't get heated up enough. That's all right, go ahead, pop that off. Damn it, I hate when that happens, okay. Uh, it did the thing that I don't like. Christ on a salad. Dang on, Brad. That ain't gonna go on. Ain't heated up enough. All right, we're gonna have to heat that up together. So, uh, let's see if we can get these off at least. Urgh. No, doesn't look like it, Brad. All right, what we're gonna do, I'll show you what we're gonna do, Brad. We're gonna take AJ Styles and Finn Balor, scoot them over to the side because they are completed. Uh, we're gonna take this and we're gonna heat this all up together. So we're gonna heat up that lower leg this lower leg, these lower legs, and hopefully we'll be able to get that all in one take. We are done with this piece though, and prep that off to the side. These kick pads actually need to be heated up as well, so I guess we can kind of just stick these here. Maybe it will, actually we're gonna provide some little, a little fortress, no, that won't work. We're gonna put it over here, and heat that, and heat that, and screw those, and here we go. We're gonna heat this up and see if we can get it all in one cut. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna test this out and see if we can get the kick pads off the Shelton. All right, got that. Gotta go ahead and slide the knee pads off. Time for the right knee. Oh, God in heaven, that shit's hot. Oh, God. Oh, God in heaven. Okay, right, left. Shelton's done. Get that over there. Go ahead, take this over here. See if this will press together. Please do. Please press together. I know you got that little black line on the lower part of the knee, but that's not gonna bother me that bad. Don't really care that much. Oh my God in heaven, this shit hurts my thumb. Anyways, let's just see if we can get this other lower leg on here first, I guess. Is that even right? I think it's right. I know it's the right knee. I'm saying, is it right? Is it on there right? Looks like it's on there right. Damn, my hands hurt. I was crawling on the roof, putting up Christmas lights, and now my hands are all freaking torn the hell up from the shingles. Oh, is that on there? I don't think that's on there, I don't trust like that. Oh, damn in hell. I got it. Hell yeah, Brad, hell yeah. All right, this is the left. We're gonna stick this onto the Miz. We're gonna stick this onto the Miz. And for the love of God in heaven on earth and in heaven at the exact same time, can we please get these Shelton, not these Shelton kick pads, these Miz kick pads, can we get them on here? Three, two, one. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Boom, get the hell out. Get the hell out of my face. So we're done, we have done it, we have completed it guys. Now, we're gonna take a closer look at everything we've done here today on Thinking Outside the Box. And bam, there we go ladies and gentlemen. We have completely gotten everything we wanted to do here today and it was all successful. Let me plug this other lamp in. There we go, much better. Okay, so we have the Miz. I think that turned out all right. I don't think those skin tones are off and uh, I think they worked out perfectly. The knee pads look good. I actually prefer these kind of knee pads for The Miz. Um, he's one of those guys that I think look better with those kinds of uh, knee pads on him. Finn Balor looks great. I wish he had lower legs that were black. Not a big deal. And then AJ Styles is right there looking pretty swell. Now, Brad, the final moment is we are going to add them up onto the shelf and we are going to get the hell out of here. Alright guys, well I think that is going to do it for the first episode of Thinking Outside the Box or Thinking Inside the Box. I don't know. Give me a, give me a cool name for the series down in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. And uh, if you guys don't like that name, you like the name, whatever the hell. But I think Thinking Outside the Box or Thinking Inside the Box would be a really good name for the series. But I had a ton of fun with this episode, you know, searching for the parts and stuff. Next episode, I don't know what we're going to do. I guess I'll search through. We'll see. And uh, we will find out. 
Better yet, why don't you guys comment down below what you guys want to see rebuilt in the next episode. Just kind of comment down below if you see a figure. Maybe we can vote on it or something and we will find out. But uh, there's a ton of figures in here and we're going to go until we freaking complete them if that's even possible. Here's a custom Cedric Alexander that uh, was made way before the Elite 67 made by BEW and myself. I made the trunks. He did everything else. Um, but uh, pretty decent little football paint job right there, but what a fantastic talent. Anyways, guys, that does it for this episode. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE action figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.